Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Bill and welcome to the weekend preview for the New Year's Day fixtures. We'll must start by saying Happy New Year to everybody, hopefully 2021, although it's going to be a slow start, will pick up and be a much, much better year for everybody. Uh, but we must start this particular episode by saying congratulations to our Golden Cap winner, Webby's Whites. Uh, not quite getting to double figures, but in a round that had two less games... Um, and a lot of upsets. Nine points is, I'm going to say, pretty uh, pretty good. Um, Klosev was up there as well. Second almost a golden cap for them. Uh, we can go all the way down and see how everybody did this particular week. And um, yeah, it was a strange week of football, wasn't it? A quick update of the leaderboard. And we will see that Webby's Whites, obviously with the gold cap, has extended his lead. And it's getting to the point where we almost call it commanding, nine and a half points. Now, I'm not sure that might be a record lead. I'm jinxing you horribly here, Webby, I know. Um, but that might be the biggest lead we've ever had. So, uh, well done. Absolutely smashing this to pieces. Uh, we can see Wolfman, Urosh, the real villain, are up there as well. All very, only a point between those three. Um, and if we scroll down, we can see myself being a very good host and letting everybody else win. And Klosev, I'm very concerned they're going to catch me, actually, because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they started late, and they are, uh, well, they're, they're, they're flying up, aren't they? So that is that. Let's have a look and see what we've got in terms of fixtures for this week. Uh, we need to go to that round, and we start with Everton versus West Ham. Um, I mean, West Ham are a strange, this is sort of more the form I think we expected from West Ham at the start, isn't it? Everton seem to be flying, um, let's say maybe a 2-1. Let's go with that. Manchester United versus Aston Villa. Now, Aston Villa have the worst record at Old Trafford, I think, probably of any team in football anywhere. They just always seem, always seem to lose no matter what. Um, is this the year, though? Is this the year? A good point at Chelsea. Um, I just I just can't see it. Well, usually we get smashed there, but I'll say we'll keep it close this year, but I just can't see it. Uh, that's just years of pain, isn't it, to coming back? Tottenham versus Leeds. Um, I mean, Spurs aren't in great form. Of course, they didn't play, so they're going to be rested, whereas Leeds, obviously, well, I mean, you could argue Leeds didn't play either. They had about half a game, didn't they? Um, what do we say to this? Leeds tend to have a big win and then a, 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 an off day, don't they? So maybe this is their off day. And we'll say 2-1 to Spurs. But, uh, yeah, difficult to say. Uh, I think maybe Spurs' fresh legs there might be the difference. All right, it is, well, possibly on form, the two worst teams in the Premier League. If Sheffield United's going to win a game, this is going to be it, isn't it? But I just feel like Saha is probably... You just can't... This is the thing with Sheffield United. You just can't see where that next win is coming from or that first win is coming from. And it's got to be just demoralizing for the players, the staff, the fans, everybody... Um, Brighton versus Wolves. I mean, Brighton, uh, I mean, that's relegation form, isn't it? Almost. Uh, Wolves away from home. Brighton was close, wasn't it, with Arsenal? Yeah. I always think Brighton at home are capable of causing an upset. So let's go with that. Wolves without Raul Jimenez aren't the best attacking team, are they? West Brom versus Arsenal. Well, you get the feeling, I mean, West Brom... Uh, Big Sam is not going to be happy, is he? Uh, they're going to shut up shop. You would think Arsenal aren't the best in front of goal. Um, yeah, see, the thing, the reason I'm coming last is because they do stupid things like tip West Brom to beat Arsenal, isn't it? So let's say 1-0 to Arsenal. Um, watch the, <laughs> West Brom's going to win that now, aren't they? Uh, uh, who have we got here? Burnley and Fulham. Burnley, just picking up form a little bit. Fulham, I mean, they've only lost two in their last, what's that, seven or so. It's one of these, you'd say it's got nil-nil written all over it, but it's at Burnley, so I'll say maybe they sneak a one-nil. Newcastle versus Leicester. Well, Newcastle somehow took points off Liverpool last night. Um, do they have another game like that in them? I mean, it's not till Sunday, so they've got a little bit of rest time as well. I think... I think Leicester will do them. So we'll go 2-0 to them. The game of the round, no doubt. Chelsea versus Manchester City. Chelsea... I mean, I don't... 
I'm biased. I didn't think they were unlucky to only get a point out of Villa. Uh, but they have had a lot of time off. Manchester City, they had a game postponed, didn't they? So they're going to be fresh as well. Uh, at Stamford Bridge. I'm going to I still think... I think City, are, they're just waking up, aren't they? So we'll say maybe 2-1 to Manchester City. Southampton versus Liverpool. Uh, or Liverpool feeder club versus Liverpool, as it was known a few seasons ago. Um, I mean, it's not till Monday, so Liverpool's had a, they both will have had a lot of time off. You can't see Liverpool dropping points again, can you, surely? They have been relatively defensively sound, so I'm going to say 2-0 Liverpool get that one. Surely they've got to go and get the win. So those are my points. Make sure you go and, uh, those are my points. Those are my picks. Make sure you go and put yours in. Only a few people have done them so far. Um, and let's go and have a quick look at the fantasy football. I should say too, there's a link in the description if you want to join the uh, the Super Brew. There's always Golden Cap Glory, so uh, never too late to join. Uh, fantasy football, well, it was a strange week with games missing, wasn't it? But um, Cobra Chicken still managed to win the round. So that's uh, annoying for everybody else. And McGinn and Tonic, uh, 60 points as well, had a very good week. But it's difficult. I mean, you look at someone like Webby. You get the feeling that, I mean, I haven't seen his team, but that's going to catch you up later on. Same with Volt GFC, you would imagine anyway. I know I had a few players that uh, that didn't end up playing. So I wonder if I could have, if I could have, uh, Birmingham Blue Noses report that as an offensive name. Probably wouldn't get me too far, would it? <laughs> uh, but there we go. So that's the way the table's looking. Uh, the Cobra Chickens are very much running away with it, you would say. In terms of my team for this week, I've made a few changes. We're going to keep, now I'm thinking Fulham's game might get postponed again. But I'm going to keep faith with Pope uh, in goal because obviously it'll just switch out if he doesn't play. So we're going to keep Tarkovsky in with Robinson and uh, Keane coming back in. Uh, he didn't play last game, but Everton at home to West Ham, you'd think they'd be a decent chance of a clean sheet. Obviously Grealish plays. Klitsch will give him a chance to play. If he doesn't, then um, Zuma will come in. Uh, we've got De Bruyne and Captain Son against Leeds. Um, there's going to be goals in that game, isn't there? So, like I say, I su suspect that Leeds might be a little bit uh, tighter than than Spurs for that one. Uh, and then we'll bring uh, Watkins back into the team to, against Man United with Vardy and Bamford as well. And uh, Zuma on the bench. I'm just not quite sure that uh, Chelsea's defence is going to be up for it. But if, they're not, if they are, then that's fine. He'll come back in. Somebody here won't play. Uh, Doherty and uh, Alzate, who's still in the team, basically because he's cheap. Um, so that is that, but there we go guys, that is the New Year's Day, or New Year's Day round anyway preview, uh, good luck with it for everybody, except if you're a Man United supporter, in which case I hope this week you very much lose, though I suspect, um, I suspect you will not, take care.